And Chris Ellis, 6'5 right hander. Orioles uh, get him off the waiver wire from Tampa Bay. And we'll tell you about uh, his travels over the course of his career. 28 years old. Good stuff. Fastball slider. Really a four pitch pitcher. First pitch swinging Giancarlo Stanton. This is in foul territory for Ryan Mountcastle and a quick out recorded by Ellis after the walk. And this time he gets him on a pretty nasty changeup. 3 2, Gardner will go and Rizzo will pop up. Santander with a call, Santander with a catch. And it's six scoreless innings against the Yankees this year for Chris Ellis. Jordan Montgomery, the left hander, gets a start for the Yankees. And he's got more almost a strikeout per inning there. Opponents hitting 242, 5 and 6 record. And another two strike bout attempt, and that's going to be it. So, an unusual sequence there. Cedric Mullins trying to bunt his way on down to the count with two strikes, and he will bunt strike out. The 0 1. Fly ball right field. Gallo comes on. Two outs. Austin Hayes could not hold on. He strikes out. A nice, easy one, two, three inning for Jordan Montgomery as the Orioles go down in order. There's Joey Gallo, 34 homers and 72 RBIs. High fly ball, deep right field. Santander back, looking up. See ya. Onto the flag court. Gallo goes yard. And it's 1 0 Yankees. That's his fifth home run in the last 11 games. This is another changeup, but this one is not quite as far off the plate. But well, this is a tough pitch to pull. But Gallo's got that long reach. Able to get the barrel to it, and the rest is history. And there's another walk. So Wade walks right after Sanchez. So first and second, still one out. Got to bring up Rochella. Rip to right field on the run is Santander. He can't get there, and it's up against the wall. Gary Sanchez had to hold up. He's going to score. And because Sanchez held up, then Wade advances to third. Marcella picks up the RBI, and the Yankees lead 2 0. The walk comes back to haunt Ellis. Goes out there again with the slider, but this one wasn't as good as the second strike. This was up. A little bit more towards the middle of the plate. Santander can't run it down. Sanchez scores. Wade's going to be held at third. Swing and a miss. Did a good job of keeping that fastball in. Swing and a miss. McKenna down on strike. Strikeout number four for Montgomery. High fly ball, left field. Stanton comes on. He's there to make the play and that'll do it. No runs to hit, no errors, and one man left on base. Richie Martin sprays one to right center field. A base hit for the Oriole nine hitter who whizzes to first and then decides to head back. So big hole in the right field. And a blooper here. That's going to drop in. Martin got a little bit of a late break, but he will make it to right. And Cedric Mullins just lofts in a base hit. His 164th hit of the year. They do not go. Swing and a miss. Got him on the change. Six strikeouts for Montgomery. Nubbed off the end of the bat. Rizzo beats Hayes to the bag for the final out. No runs, two hits, two men left. We go to the fourth. Now here's the payoff. Man, the change caught on this beautiful change. That's strikeout number seven for Monty. Look down the middle. Canada down looking. Swing and a miss. Oof. Strikes out three in the inning. Nine for the game. Swing and a drive into right center field. That is going to get in there for a base hit. Splits the outfielders and goes to the wall. Stanton is going to stop at third. It's a double for Rizzo. And the Yankees have runners on second and third with two men out here in the fifth. And they're going to walk Glaber and face Joey Gallo. He hits one high. He hits one deep. McKenna at the wall, and he makes the catch right up near the Pepsi sign. 
Joey Gallo oh so close but the Orioles escape the fifth. Here is the one two and the pitch cut on him. This, hey that's something he has ten strikeouts. Swing and a miss on the curve. Eleven strikeouts for Montgomery. And they got a pick off. Oh, he was going, he was leaning. And he's going to be tagged out by Glenn Torres. Play through it. Ground ball from Urshela. Martin gets one. Martin gets two. Nicely done. As Ryan Mountcastle is back in for another round with Jordan Montgomery. That oh. ball is crushed to center field. Gardner back at the wall. And there it is. Ryan Mountcastle stands alone atop the Orioles rookie home run leaderboard. His 29th home run surpassing Cal Ripken Jr. for the most long balls by an Oriole rookie. And he left absolutely no doubt on the record breaker. 0 oh, 2 Hayes swings gets underneath this one as it goes out behind first base Rizzo checking the wall goes in for the lean and against the fence over the ball boy. He makes the catch Austin Hayes stares in disbelief. Yeah that's an out. Oh finally an out okay. <laughs> so nice catch. Good catch Riz. Terrific. But there's one away. So the Orioles have the tying run 90 feet away. But they are down to their final out. Yeah, Pass good. the glove of Sanchez. Gutierrez Great. scores. There you go. A two strike, two out, bottom of the ninth. Wild pitch. And the Orioles have tied it at two. 2-2 two, two the score, bottom of the tenth inning. Jones representing the winning run at third. Hayes has struck out, grounded out, popped out, and flight out. There's a chopper. That sneaks through. See you in 2022, Yankees. Orioles walk off in the season series finale. Hayes the hero to score Jones. A 3-2 final.